It's one o'clock. From ABC News, I'm Richard Cantu. After putting it off for years, as is his style, the last president was finally deposed in a defamation lawsuit brought by a woman who claims he raped her back in the 90s. Donald Trump has claimed the entire defamation lawsuit should be dismissed because he was president and immune to charges. He falsely called columnist E. Jean Carroll a liar for making charges of rape against him. After years of delay, a judge ordered Trump's testimony, and he once again said Carroll was lying and, quote, not his type on social media repeating what she called defamation while he no longer has presidential immunity. ABC's Andy Field. Vice President Pence, who might seek the Republican nomination in 24, was at the Heritage Foundation warning conservatives against embracing Trump's brand of populism and urging them to return to an agenda of limited government and strong national defense. Nor can we allow our movement to be led astray by the siren song of unprincipled populism that's unmoored from our oldest traditions and most cherished values. With inflation continuing to run extremely high, the Internal Revenue Service is increasing the standard deduction on your taxes to adjust for the rising prices. These are changes that could help prevent you from being pushed into a higher tax bracket because of a cost of living pay increase. For single people and married couples filing separately, deductions will rise $900 to $13,850. And married couples filing jointly will see an $1,800 increase in deductions to $27,700. ABC's Mary Bruce. This will be reflected for 2023 taxes on returns filed in 2024. Aiming to curb tip-over injuries to and deaths of children, the Consumer Product Safety Commission approved new guidelines for dressers and other clothing storage containers. They'll now have to exceed minimum stability requirements. Commission says 199 children were killed in storage clothing units tip-overs. You listen. Detroit Lions football. Goff, play action fake, wants to throw a screen to Reynolds, does, picks up a block, gets to the 45, Reynolds 50, picks up another block at the 40, left sideline 30, still going at the 20. The Detroit Lions face the Dallas Cowboys at AT&T Stadium, pregame Sunday at noon on your home for Detroit Lions football. Tune in to me, Dan Miller, along with Lomas Brown for play-by-play coverage of Detroit Lions football on News Talk and Sports, PHM Mobile App. After putting it off for years, as is his style, the last president was finally deposed in a defamation suit brought by a woman who claims he raped her back in the 90s. Donald Trump has claimed the entire defamation lawsuit should be dismissed because he was president and immune to charges. He falsely called columnist E. Jean Carroll a liar for making charges of rape against him. After years of delay, a judge ordered Trump's testimony, and he once again said Carroll was lying and, quote, not his type on social media, repeating what she called defamation while he no longer has presidential immunity. ABC's Andy Field, a federal grant grand jury indicted suspended Indianapolis cop Eric Huxley on a excessive use of force and civil rights counts. Huxley accused of kicking a handcuffed man in the face during an arrest last year. Aiming to curb tip-over injuries to and deaths of children, the Consumer Product Safety Commission approved new safety guidelines for dressers. Yeah. A better life with Dr. Sanjay Gupta. More young adults are using marijuana and hallucinogens than ever before. That's according to the latest installment of Monitoring the Future Study, conducted by my alma mater, the University of Michigan, and funded by the National Institutes of Health. Together, they've been putting out this research for almost 40 years. And as the landscape for drugs shifts over time, this data provides a window into the substances and patterns of use favored by young adults. That's according to Dr. Nora Volko, the director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Rates of vaping after slowing down during the pandemic are on the rise again, nearly triple what they were five years ago. And rates of marijuana vaping were about double. Binge drinking is back to pre-pandemic levels. But the best news, I think, in this report is that cigarette use among young adults, that's 19 to 30-year-olds, has actually gone down. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta, helping you live a better life. How would healthcare experiences change if your teams proactively knew expectations before your patients arrived, understanding their hopes and fears instead of focusing on backward-facing data? That could change everything. 
At NRC Health, we give your teams the information to provide the right experience for each individual. That's the power of human understanding, creating happier patients and better outcomes. Get proactive at nrchealth.com. What's your least favorite season? Now, if you're like me, it's cold and flu season. So get relief from it this year with Mucinex DM. With cough and chest congestion relief for 12 hours in just one dose, that's three times longer than four-hour products. Mucinex DM makes any season comeback season, even cold and flu season. Get three times the relief in just one dose with Mucinex DM. It couldn't be simpler. Nothing lasts longer among over-the-counter cough and cold remedies. Mucinex DM provides 12 hours of relief for chest congestion and cough, day or night. Use as directed. 